You are welcome to 5 minutes with the risk manager. I'm Utome Monday, a PEB certified ISO 31000 lead risk manager and certified trainer. In today's webinar, we'll be looking at the topic risk treatment in alignment with ISO 31000. This is my profile. You can go through it at any time. We'll go straight to our introduction. Whatever we do or don't do is based on a decision. Now ISO 31000 is a risk management standard that can be applied by individuals and corporate organization. It can be applied by the private sector and the public sector. And it doesn't matter the size of the company, whether it's a small scale or a medium scale, industry or a big corporation the risk management standard is purely based on principles so uh, one of the main tenets is the risk management process and in the risk management process is what we refer to as the risk treatment the risk treatment is applied after the risk has been identified the risk has been analyzed and the risk has been evaluated then you now need to make a decision consigning the risk risk decision in any aspect of our business relationship even outside of east should be guided by adequate and informed risk treatment options what this simply means is that before you make a risk decision you should know the available risk treatment options that are that are available to you or you should be aware of the risk treatment options that are available to you. Now, one of the things that we treat often is our health, and if we can treat our health, why not risk? Now, the ISO standard defines risk treatment as a process to modify risk. In other words, risk can be modified. You can modify the frequency, you can modify the severity, you can modify the probability of its occurrence or you can modify the impact of its occurrence. Now, the, the, the way the risk is modified is referred to as the treatment of the risk. Now, there are so, 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 so many risk treatment options, and, but the ISO 31000 recognizes seven risk treatment options. And we are going to consider option one in this webinar, why in other webinars we will consider the other options option one is to avoid the risk avoid the risk by deciding not to start or continue with the activity that gives rise to the risk now you may be thinking of uh, expanding your business or you may be thinking of branching into new areas of business or you may be thinking of uh, assuming more risk in your line of business or it could be any business consign or any relationship decision now you need to weigh your capacity you need to weigh your competence you need to weigh your ability to absorb any shock or uncertainties that may affect your objective now if you can consider expanding into a new business territory and you, you discover that the economic climate the regulatory climate cannot sustain the objectives of your business then there is no need for you to expand into that geographical region the best thing for you to do is to avoid the risk completely now to avoid the risk may sound simple but you need to do a critical cost benefit analysis when the cost outweighs the benefit you avoid the risk at times even when the cost is equal to the benefit you need to think whether to accept the risk or to avoid it or not so avoiding the risk is is based on the risk circumstances where you have seen that your capacity your capability your your risk appetite is not able to sustain the uncertainties that will arise from any event that will affect your objective then the best option is to avoid the risk uh, if you want more information uh, on risk management and risk treatment, go to our Facebook page and search for Kerwins and Good. Till I come your way next time, I am the Rich Man with Tommy Monday. And do have a great time. Thank you.